Hello everyone. Welcome back to school. Uh, today is the first day of the new semester. I just uh, hope you have had a wonderful summer break. And uh, now uh, we coming back to school. It's a school time again. Uh, but uh, we have something different. I said uh, welcome back to school. But uh, the way to go back to school, it is not uh, uh, as usual. We go back online. We just connect to the internet, then we go back to school. Ah, is it cool? Yeah. You don't need to spend a long time in like a bus or traffic or drive, right? You can just connect online, then you go back to school. Yeah, they save a lot of time every day, right? Uh, but of course, it is a kind of uh, challenge because it is not uh, the normal way to go to school. Uh, actually, last semester we already have half semester uh, we have a class online, so you should already have kind of uh, experiment on it. Uh, maybe you already are expert uh, on the studying online, take class online. That would be great. Uh, here, I I think the first important thing I want to mention today is actually not just for today for the whole semester. You need uh, keep the uh, keep the time, keep the time space, the, the speed, time speed. You uh, you know every day we have class. Uh, not not our class, right? You you take different classes. So every day you have several classes and maybe labs and maybe some other things you need to do homework or project something like that. So here the important thing is to not move today's work to next day. Yeah, because this is online. So you have you have the option, you can choose uh, like like today's class you will have, uh, we will have a video online. Then you can watch the video. So you take the class. That means you watch the video. So by this way, you can watch the video. Like uh, the whole video is 15 minutes. You can watch it like uh, 20 minutes and then have a break. After a while, you watch another 20 minutes. Then have a break. Then another 10 to 15 minutes to finish the rest part. Right, you you can work like that. It's more flexible, and uh, also like this class, uh, any class, for example, it is uh, scheduled at uh, early morning at eight o'clock. Then you can watch the video at like uh, yeah, whatever you want. You can like uh, you don't you think eight o'clock in the morning is too early? Then you can go to like uh, afternoon. You can have it in. 2 o'clock afternoon, something like that. So by this way, you have more options to move the time from the normal schedule to a flexible schedule. But remember, do not move the class to next day. If you, you can use different time in the same day, but try to finish it. Not try, to have to finish it in the same day. If you leave some work to next day, then, oh, then next day's work you move, you will move far more next days. And if you work like that, in the end of the semester, you will, f you will find, oh God, I have, I have uh, two weeks or even three weeks material I need, I need to go over before the exam, but only two days left before the exam. Okay, so this is very important. You have to keep your speed. You try to, no, not try, you have to finish every day's work in the same day. Do not leave to next day. All right? Ah, oh, this is very important, very important. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else in general? I think that will be fine. Yeah, you, you watch the, you can watch the class online or you can also download it. Uh, and uh, then try to do the homework, right? Uh, 
that will be similar with a normal class. The only thing is the, the communication between me and you, also between you and the other classmates, the communication uh, is in the online way. It's the online way, right? Or maybe it's a phone. You can also use phone to communicate the way to talk with your classmate to, to discuss something. Yeah, you can also think that is kind of online. All right, now let's go to the class. Yeah, really go to the class. What is our class? Okay, this is the blackboard. Yeah, we go to blackboard. We will have all the materials in the blackboard. You know, this is the online class. So, so how to go to online of this class? So just go to blackboard. You can find this class. Our class here. You see 451 principle of modern control uh, it contains two two parts so one part is for uh, undergraduate student one part is for graduate student uh, but uh, all the material all the homeworks all the exams uh, they will be same for both of you all right uh, but in the final when I will not give the final grade a B C D uh, the the standard I can uh, make some change something different all right now let's go to the syllabus syllabus you can see from here right I don't know in your side might be different uh, but you can find it right yeah the surface may be different because when I go to blackboard I can see it looks like this when you look at the blackboard maybe it looks like different but uh, you will have all the necessary materials. Okay, this is syllabus. Uh, is it clear? Somehow, sorry. I make it large. The letter is uh, smaller. Make it 18. Is that good? Okay, this looks better. Right? I can make it. This one, this one. Make it uh, this one. Full screen. All right. Uh, this looks better, right? <coughs> okay, for this class, uh, instructor is me. Yeah, Ningjun. Ningjun. Uh, you can call me Ning. I think, uh, like, uh, maybe most of you guys already know me, right? You took some courses of me before. And uh, then we have the lecture time. It will be Monday, Wednesday from 9.30 to 10.45 a.m. So this is online class. Uh, then what what does these times mean? Uh, as I told, uh, every day's work you need to fin try to finish it in the same day. So here you see Monday and Wednesday. So we will have our class on Monday and Wednesday and you will uh, try to finish your class, finish studying the material of this day in the same day, right? Like today's Monday, so try to finish today's study just in today. Don't leave it to next day, right? So you have Monday, Wednesday. And the second thing is we have this time. This time, uh, actually, we have several things. The first is at this time, definitely you can find all the necessary materials. Actually, I will, I will make the material available usually like uh, one day earlier, like a Monday. Uh, I will put the material on Sunday, so in the Monday morning you can find it. So you can, if you want, you can study it in the morning of this day. Right? Not exactly uh, start from 9:30. And the second thing is for the exam. You know, for the exam, because uh, I will set the exam time in this period. We have three midterm exam, three midterm exams, and each year will be start from 9:30. So in 9:30, you will see the problems, exam problems online, and then you can finish it and upload in a time period based on this time. The exam time will be longer than this time. Uh, this is class time. In the day for the midterm, I will give you like uh, 30 more minutes, 
depends. Yeah, I think 30, 30 minutes that'll be enough, right? 30 more in, uh, minutes for the like uh, you, or maybe 15? Yeah, 30 is fine. So you, you can prepare uh, your your answer, make them into a, like a digital way so you can upload online, right? You need some time to prepare that part. So you have this time for your exam, and uh, some extra point, uh, extra time for prepare your papers to submit online, right? So this is second thing, second thing, yeah. And the third thing for homework, uh, well, not exactly this time, but the homework, you know, like uh, I said, which day the homework due, and that day is also based on this schedule. It's also based on this schedule. So, yeah, we have this time. We have this time. All right. Yeah. Then office hour. Uh, I want to know your opinion. Which day will be better? But uh, well, I will. I will try to use certain way. Actually, now I'm recording this class. It is a. Uh, this is not a class time. When you see this class, I already finished the record. So, so so far and and now I cannot get the response from you. But uh, during the class, actually during the class, I will try to get your opinion. All right. And then this is my email. If you have any question, you can email me. Okay. And uh, TA, we will have TA. Uh, when I get the enough information, I will put it here. So you you can also get help from TA. And uh, for office hours, uh, I have office hour. T also have office hour, so you can, uh, if you have question, you can also contact him or her. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So so generally, and then for this course, we need some prerequisite. That is a uh, EC three fifty. Uh, we, and also some knowledge of linear algebra and differential equations that will help. That will be help. All right. Yeah. Yeah. For the uh, for undergraduate student in this class, you should already be in the three fifty, right? Okay. Then textbook. Textbook. Textbook is uh, by these two guys. Oh, no, three guys. We have three others together. And then the book name is a Feedback Control of Dynamic Systems. I put six edition, or newer, or maybe older is also fine. Older or newer. Yeah, any edition will be fine. If you can have, you can have. Uh, the different between different edition, you know, basically they are the different they have different uh, homework homework problems, and I will use the problem from the sixth edition. All right, and I post the I post all the problems, so you can find the homework problems from the blackboard, and uh, so you can use any edition of the textbook. All right, and beside that, here's uh, one more. One more book as a reference. If you are interested, you can also have a look of this book. This book is about a linear state space system. So, uh, you know, that's the system described by the matrix way. By the matrix way, you can find it online. This book is online. I think that that book you can also find certain edition online. You know, these. They have six editions. Now I think they have seven editions. So you go online, you can find find some early edition of this book, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So this is a textbook, and then you need MATLAB. Uh, we do not have lab experiment in this course, but we have a lot of part. You still need to use MATLAB to do a kind of a simulating, right? Uh, Simulated the running, how the system works, yeah, and also we need some tools, so you need the MATLAB, and uh, which has a control, 
two box with a control two box. You can obtain it from ACCC. They will they will give you uh, provide the MATLAB for student version. Uh, I think it's free. I think it's free, or maybe several ten several ten dollars. Should be free. Yeah, should be free. I remember like uh, it's free, and then it was free, and uh, once one or two semester they charge some money, and then they go back. It's free again. Yeah, I think this semester should be free again. It's still free. Yeah. And okay, the cost description. We will study which part we will study. This is the second course for the control for the graduate student and the first year for for the first year graduate student. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, the modern control techniques and uh, the course mainly focus on the analysis and the design of dynamic system analysis and the design of control system on the modeling state variable representation computer solution and some modern design principles uh, yeah we will learn it later uh, here we have I've, I put some topic here uh, modeling and uh, dynamic response rule lockers design frequency response design method linear system and uh, state space design and feedback control digital control yeah the main topic is like that and uh, the assessment so we have homework and the exam homework is a 20 percent and uh, final oh no no yeah final is a uh, final exam is 30 percentage and the three midterm exams uh, will be 10 20 20 respectively all these are online actually homework is also online right I didn't put it all of them are online and uh, the first midterm will be in the third week actually this is a kind of a review the uh, first two weeks we will go over some basic thing which was covered in three you see 350 and uh, a brief go over a brief review and then we give a uh, exam just for the for the material some early material right and then we go to you know next after after the midterm one we will go to the uh, the real real material for this course then we have two midterm exam and then uh, in the in the final we have a final exam Right. Yeah, the exam will will take like this, uh, like a, like here. I go to time. Yeah, the time. For example, if I set the exam at Monday, at Monday class, then there will be a there will be a, there will be a, a exam problem. Which will be available at this time. Okay. So from this time, uh, start from this time. You can download the problem from Blackboard, and then you can do it by yourself in your side. When you finish, you try to make your answer sheet into digital way. You scan it or take photos, and uh, then submit submit uh, in the Blackboard. So this is the uh, exam. How the exam taken? Uh, then we we will not have any restriction, right? Like uh, in the if you go to campus, you go to classroom, you take exam. We say it's an open book or closed book. Which part, which thing, uh, which kind of thing you can use, which kind of thing you cannot use. For this online way, uh, I don't have these all these restrictions. The only thing is we have time. We have a limited time. You have to finish your work during this period and submit it. Uh, I don't do not accept uh, late submission. All right, so keep this in mind during the exam. Finish everything on time. Okay. So this is the exam, and then for grading, 
yeah, I put here. This is just the, the normal normal standard, right? Yeah, over 90s A, then or 80s B, over 70s C, yeah, and so on. And, uh, but we have two part. We have two part. So uh, for undergraduate student part, maybe the standard will be somehow lower. And for graduate student, um, so far I don't know. I will see. If everything's good, you will use the same, just standard like this. Uh, maybe, maybe if this course is uh, you feel is so difficult, maybe the standard I will make it a little bit lower. Also make it some lower. All right, that depends. Okay, now we can now see. I will give the final standard here, the grading standard uh, later. All right. Okay, so this is the syllabus about this course. Now let's go to the lab bar again. Actually here, I, 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 normally I will say, okay, do you have any question about this course? And then we can have some kind of uh, discussion, but now I cannot get your response just on time. So anyway. <coughs> Let's go to the blackboard. You can find all the necessary materials here. Other than syllabus, you can have uh, tools here. So like now it's tools. It's a tool. The tools part. Uh, actually, we we don't we do not need all of these. We need several things. The first is announcement. Announcement. The announcement. If I have anything I want you to know, I will put an announcement here. I can create an announcement. Then your announcement will appear below these. Uh, yeah, this is in my side. In your side, you can also see uh, some place, right? Somehow you can see something new, some announcement. I will tell you, like, uh, which day we will have exam, or which day we will have homework, or something like that. Okay, so this is the announcement. Very important, all right? Yeah. And the uh, second thing in the tool will be about the uh, meeting, right? Class meeting. Yeah. Class, uh, Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting. You will have, uh, okay. Uh, the class is online and actually I record the class before I will record class and post it in Blackboard and that will be before the scheduled day so at the day on in the day of the scheduled class you can study by like uh, watch my uh, video to study right but maybe you still have questions so that questions uh, you can Contact me. Use a Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting is a on time connection. That means we can, uh, con like uh, we can contact. It look like looks like uh, face to face, right? So you, you, it's a. Uh, I start a Zoom meeting. You joined. Then when I talk, you can see. You can see me when I am talking. And you can also. Uh, you can also uh, type something or speak something there, so we can discuss just on time about any of your <coughs> any of your questions. It's a Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting. Uh, for the office hour, we will use Zoom meeting. So when I schedule which day, which time it will be office hour, then at that time I will be uh, here in a Zoom meeting, and you can join the Zoom. Okay. This is the thing, and also during the class. During the class, I said I posted everything online before the class, so uh, you can study. Just to go online. You can have the video. You can can have the homework. You can have the uh, like notes, right? So you can study. But you can also contact me. That means at the class time, I will be here. I will be here. So if you have any question, you just go to here and uh, talk with me. But I'm here, I'm not teaching. 
I'm not teaching class in normal way. I'm here. If you have question, I answer you. And for the class itself, you go to the movie. I go to the not movie. It's a video. Yeah, movie is too large. Uh, it's a video. Okay, you go to the video. All right. So this is a room. And another thing is a uh, piazza. And we have a discussion board. Is here? Yeah, piazza, piazza. So you go to piazza. That works like. Uh, can I? If I click it, what I have? So this is place you can put your. Oh, I need to set up before it. So okay. Now it's not a good time to use it. So when you go to the piazza, yeah, now it is not setting up. Uh, but I will set up later. That that means for the time I'm recording this this video, it is later. But that will be before the uh, class start, before the semester start. Now is now is August thirteenth today actually. Yeah, but I will uh, set up this piazza before the class. So when the semester uh, before the semester starts, so when you start start studying in the semester, you can see this piazza. You go to piazza. That is a place you can post your question there. So you can go to the any time. No schedule. You don't need any schedule. You just go to there. You can post your questions. And then me and the TA, uh, we can check it like uh, when I have. Uh, Time I can check it. If I find some question there, that I will give an answer and post the answer in Piazza. So you can check it out and see. Okay, uh, the answer is, looks like this, and all the problems and answers is available to all of you. So this is things like uh, it's a discussion bar, right? Discussion bar. Okay. So for this course, uh, basically we use these three. We use these three: announcement, piazza, and uh, Zoom meeting. Okay, we use these three tools. These three tools. Actually, another tools might be we in case this one Blackboard Collaborate Archer. Uh, this one is similar with Zoom, so I will use it if there's something wrong in Zoom. Uh, if if some of you guys took the class last semester with me, you should know, right? We have some case the Zoom gets some kind of uh, disturbed by some people, some hack or something. So we go to the uh, collaborate, right? But if nothing wrong, we just use collaborate. Uh, we just use the Zoom. We just use Zoom. All right. So this is for the tools. And then for here, I have assignments and exams. Okay, so now it's empty. Now it's empty. Uh, but uh, later you will see. Okay, we have homework one is some something. Homework two is some something. Then the, like a midterm one is some something. So it's like this, you can find the, you can find the assignments and the exams here. And the, you also need to submit your the uh, answer sheet from from this place. All right. Okay. So this is assignment. Then the materials. Materials. Uh, now I already post uh, part of textbook. That is textbook chapter one, two, three. Uh, usually I I do these in the beginning of the semester, every semester, in case you do not have your uh, textbook so far. So I put first three chapters, but uh, for the rest part of the textbook, uh, I won't post it. So you need you need to have your textbook. You need to have your textbook. Uh, one, two, three. Totally, I think is uh, nine or ten chapters. Ten chapters, and we will cover like eight chapters. Eight chapters. The last two chapters of the. Textbooks they are related with nonlinear system. Nonlinear system. Uh, we do not study that part. Uh, we have we have another course. I think it's a ECE five. 
is a 552 or 53? That is a relative 552. That is related with a, a nonlinear system, nonlinear control. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is the materials, materials, and also we will have like when I give uh, some uh, homework, the solution of the homework, or the copy of homework problems from the textbook. Also, they also be here. Also be here. All right. So this is the the blackboard. What else do we have? Okay, it's fine. Now let's go back to the. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go to the. This is a. Uh, document the camera yeah, I have two cameras one is for me one is for the document and uh, let's start the the course today actually this is a ECE 451 the first class uh, let's consider an example all right so we consider example of the control system Example. Example one. Uh, we consider circuit. Right. Consider circuit. We give a. Here's a source. This is a E of T is a voltage. Voltage E of T. We use this as input. And uh, we will have a circuit. Circuit. All right. We have a circuit. Okay. We can like this. We can put the capacity here and uh, a resistor here. Another resistor and here's a uh, another capacity. <coughs> yeah. All right. We can just use this one. This is C one R one. C two R two. Uh, R two. This is R two C two. Sorry. And we suppose here is a output. The voltage here, V of T, is also the voltage. It's a output. This is input. Yeah. So for this system, we want the equation related with input and output. Right. Yeah. We want to describe it in the equation way. Uh, we can consider, okay, yeah, we go along, the, uh, this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, negative, that means the current, we consider direction from positive to the negative is a, <coughs> is a positive direction of the current, right? If current go back, that is a, a negative current. And here is also positive to negative, for example. Here is also positive, negative, like this, positive and negative, we go this way. Then the current, okay, current from here to here to here should be same value, right? Same value. Then the current from here, uh, this is capacity. Capacity, I, the current will be C1 times the derivative of the voltage here. Uh, I need a voltage here. Okay, I give a, I say this is a X of T, the voltage. This is also the voltage. The x of t, all right. X of t. Then we can have the equation x of t take derivative times c one. This is current here, and or equal to the current here. That will be the voltage from here to here over r one. So here to here. The, yeah, this one we can we can multiply. Uh, here's e, right? This is e. This is x. So here's a e minus x. E minus x, and here's a v. So it is E minus x, and this point is a E. Uh, this point is a v. This point is a v. So this is the voltage between the uh, in the two sides of R1. So divided by R1, this is current. Okay, this will be same. All right, we have the first equation. And uh, is it enough? You can you can have a look. 
in this equation we have input and output but we also have an x and, and this x is actually depending on e right you 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 different input to the uh, the x will be different so this is also kind of uh, kind of unknown signals unknown variables depending on uh, unknown functions depending on the input e this depending on e x also depending on e then the you need to solve the you have one equation and two unknowns so you can't solve you need one more equation so we try to find more equations yeah we can we already have this current right and we can also have the current here and current here and do summation this plus this were equal to this okay so this one we already have that is a e minus x minus v over r1 right we already have this and this one will be this is a e this is a v so this is a e minus v over r2 okay so the current here plus current here were equal to current here this current will be uh, it's a c2 times dv over dt okay we have two equations <coughs> now it is good right now it is good we have input e of t we suppose this is a given one we don't know what it is but it is given it is given you can give anything but it is given and uh, x v they are kind of unknown they are unknown can be solved from uh, from I say this is a one this is a two from one and two right okay we are done one and two uh, one and two right we are done so we have two equations then that's enough to describe the system uh, in generally we have a system um, maybe you need more equations right so every time you can make a check how many variables some input some output some state yeah we have name this is input and v is output and x of t is called uh, state variable state variable so it's a part of the system but it is not input not output it's a kind of state right kind of state state variable right <coughs> and then we want to give a standard form standard form you know this kind of equation uh, really is coming out directly from the model you build a system you build a system and then uh, you find the equations from the system different system you have different equations uh, all kind of equations so you know they're so different so different and uh, for the you know if you want studied uh, you'd better rewrite it in a standard form so that will provide your uh, more convenience to study it so here we have two kind of uh, standard form of the equation the first one we saw uh, we say this is a uh, I input and output relation input and output relation ah, this one it's coming sorry it's the internet let me turn it off Yeah, now I'm I'm recording, so I don't need an internet, right? Uh, I relation, yeah, I relation. So our equations here, our equations here. So we try to rewrite this equation, rewrite these two equations, so that the f the final equation just contain the input and output. E and V so we try to erase X so can we do it yeah we can use the second right we use the second equation we can write X in terms of E and V and then plug in the first 
then we can have it. Then let's do it. By the second, by the second one, we have. Um, I move x to that side, and uh, order uh, order x to this side. So I have e minus v. Oh, this is also e minus v. E minus v, right? So e minus v with coefficient one over r one plus one over r two, right? And x to that side, and this one moved to here. So minus c two v prime. Yeah, I just put v prime. Same with dv over dt. Equal to x to that side is x over r1. So we have x equal to r1 times e minus v times this coefficient 1 over r1, 1 over r2, do summation, and minus c2 v prime. Okay, this is x. And then plug in the first. Plug in the first. We have c1 times x prime. So x prime, the prime of these, it is r1 prime of these. Yeah, I move r1, 1 over r1, the coefficient in the front, right? Usually we put coefficient in the front, then the equation. They, they are variable, they, they are functions, right? e of t, v of t, and then now it's a prime, e prime, v prime, right? And minus c2, v prime, with actual more prime, right? They already prime. I need one more prime. This is okay. So this part, it is a uh, x prime. X prime equal to he is a uh, oh e and v always together, right? And just put the e and v together. This is one over r one e minus v and the minus one over r one times x, right? And x that I have used here. Oh, this is r one. I can cancel it. Then this is a yeah you this way one over r one plus one over r two times e minus v okay. minus c two v prime okay it's a plugging plugging to two. Like new two, so we have this. You have this. Almost done. We actually we already have it, right? This is equation only contain e and v, e and v, right? Only contain e and v. Okay. Then uh, let's rewrite it. Rewrite it. Uh, usually people like v prime, v prime, and v. V prime and V, we put it in the uh, one side. V prime and uh, uh, E and E prime in the other side. So I put it, okay, so this is a C1, R1, and the negative C2 with E prime, with negative. Negative C1, R1, C2 with V2 prime, okay, is a two prime term. And then we check the v prime term. I have this is one prime. Here's a, this is also v prime. So I have two term with v prime. Uh, two term with v prime. What can we do? Two term with v prime. So I merge the coefficient together. Oh, there's a lot. So this coefficient is negative. C one C R one times this, right? So it's negative. C1 R1 times 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So this is the coefficient of this term. It's minus here. And uh, this one, the coefficient is a, uh, uh, this two cancel. So it is a negative, negative is a plus, plus C2. So this is C2, just C2. But C2 move to that side is minus C2. So it's minus C2. Right. But here I move minus out. So here's a plus. Okay. This is V prime. V prime. Any more V prime? We have these two V prime. Okay. That's all. Then V term. V term. No V, no V, no V. Uh, here's a V. 
here's V. We have two turns with V. Right? Two turns with V. To move to the left side. The coefficients. This one is 1 over R1. Right? It's a minus. Move to this side will be plus. 1 over R1. This is a minus minus should be plus. Right? Minus minus plus. But move to this side will be negative. So it's minus 1 over R1. Oh, this cancel. 1 over R2 times V. Okay, this is a V term. V term. Any more V terms? No more. Then we consider the E term. We have E prime term and E term. So E prime term is this one. Any more E prime term? Only. Only this E prime term, right? Okay, now move to that side where we minus C1 R1 and 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. This is E prime. E prime. And then E term. E term. This is E term. This is E term. We have two E terms. Right? Two E terms. The first E term is 1 over R1. And the second E term is minus 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. E. Alright. Almost done. Uh, if you want, you can just leave it like this. Can I leave it here? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I leave if you want to reduce, yeah, you can reduce these R1, R1, they cancel, and also the negative here, negative here, maybe you want to keep this positive, this positive, then this is negative. Here's a positive, then here's is negative, right? Yeah. But uh, quite similar, quite similar. And if you want the first term with coefficient 1, then you divide these to all the rest terms, right? Now I can just leave it here. So I have a equation. This equation only contain input and output. And usually people like write it in this way. The output in one side and input in the other side. And by this way, we can very easy to give, give a transfer function, right? Remember the transfer function of a system? Transfer function. That is a uh, from input is E V over E from E to V there will be a fraction the numerator coming from the input side so now is negative C1 R1 times 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 times S the S according to the derivative and plus oh now it's minus minus 1 over R2 Okay, this is numerator. And denominator, I have three terms, so I have negative C1, R1, C2, S squared, right? You have two prime, which is S squared. <coughs> and this is S term. Minus, this is C1, R1 times 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 times uh, plus C2, S, right? the second term. And the last term is minus 1 over R2. Okay, so we have a, a transfer function. We have a transfer function. Looks like this. Okay, so this is the first way of the uh, system to describe the system in standard way. And actually, we have more information from here. We know the system is second order, right? Second order. And uh, by this part, where well, you need a more calculate, to, you can find like a poles and zeros and whatever. Right? Okay, so this is a, a kind of a standard form of equation in the, in the style of input output way. And the second way, which is state equation way. That is a uh, okay. Right here is x prime equal to a x plus b u and y equal to c x plus d u. In form like this, in form like this, like this. This is a matrix. Way. Yeah, the matrix. Way. 
so let's look at it so firstly you need right you directing one side and the linear part in the other side so here we have okay first equation is x prime right x prime equal to uh, 1 over c1 r1 times okay I have both x and v so x negative x and plus negative 1 over c1 r1 v and plus positive 1 over c1 r1 e okay so the e is the input this u is the input right this part is bu this part is bu like bu and this part according to ax part and also we have another derivative this is v prime v prime will be uh, I have c2 and divided into the other side so I have okay the first one I use x term only this x right so this is negative x so it's negative 1 over c2 and r1 okay, c2 and r1 this is for x and v I have two v's this is v this is v so v term so I have both are minus so it's a plus uh, negative v over okay I, I write negative 1 over c2 right I divide c2 to the other side and the inside is 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 this is a v coefficient of v and then, then the e I have two terms with e and divide by c2 so plus 1 over c2 is 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 times e all right these two equations related with the first one of the state equations and we need one more equation that equation just indicate how do you get output and here in this example our output y it is just the v just the v right? just v uh, maybe you can have the model the output y will be v times some coefficient plus x times some coefficient and also include the input input e here yeah, use the input this e is input in this example e is input in general we write to you as in <coughs> okay so we can have the equation looks like this and for this one if you run if you want to write this in matrix way it will be uh, X and the V derivative equal to a matrix a uh, I put just a a times X V plus B times times e e times e and the y or equal to c times x and the v right looks like this and where the matrix a will be the coefficient uh, I put the coefficient okay here's others x and the v so x in front v is second right so first x second v first x second is v okay they are just in the right order right order so we can put the coefficient just like this is negative 1 over c1 r1 this is a negative 1 over c1 r1 what they are saying okay and the second line this is a negative 1 over c2 r1 not c1 c2 okay the different and this is negative 1 over c2 times 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 this is a and b the first in first equation we have 1 over c1 r1 and second equation we have 1 over c2 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 Okay, this is the B and C this matrix C actually we just have V right so it is a 0 and 1 okay. so 0 1 times XV you get V <coughs> Sorry. ok 
Okay, this is a C. <coughs> and the D, no D. D zero. D zero. No D. And D zero. Okay. So this is in a matrix way. In matrix way. Uh, this vector X and V. This is state vector. Or you say it's a it's a vector of state variables. State of matrix. Uh, state. This is a state vector of vector of state variables. Okay, this is second way. Second way. <coughs> Alright. Uh, okay, now let's look at another example. This time we can consider a uh, more com a little bit complex actually. Not more complex. A little bit complex. It's a long okay, non linear one. Non linear one. Alright. We were not to uh, pay more attention on the Nonlinear system, but you should know what is a nonlinear one. So we consider the example two. We use a, a pendulum. Pendulum. Right, with certain mass here. Yeah, and then it were. If you push it, if you push it, you are you are move like this, right? Left and right. So to like to here, right? Like this. Then we can describe this use uh, the angle. Suppose this is a theta is an angle. Theta is an angle, and uh, we have a length of this bar is L. Then uh, what can we say? We use the uh, law of Newton, right? We use a. Uh, oh. Okay, so this is a. Uh, here's a uh, force will be G times L, right? G times L. And we have a seed. We separate. So this one will be G M times sine seed. Sine seed. Sine seed. And this sign, this value will be okay. So we can have, and the move. So when this change is C, we have C. This one, the move will be L times C, right? So L times C. And we take a derivative and derivative. This will equal to, uh, this times M will equal to the force. But the force is a negative one, right? Okay, like this. Uh, the force. Yeah. yeah. So we have equation looks like this. And uh, of course, if you consider more, like you consider some friction with the air, or you consider the torque, uh, because the bar may be a little bit, little bit uh, change, right? It's not straight. When you move, when you when you move, maybe it looks like this. A little bit, very little bit, right? When it's going up, maybe not so straight. Yeah, things like that. You are considered the, uh, the we call it a, a talk, right? Talk. Talk. K. Q. Q U E. Yeah, talk, right? It's a talk. If you consider those kind of things, you need a minus something else. And uh, that one was related with, um, usually related with. Uh, with the uh, velocity, with the uh, with L V L uh, L theta L theta L theta dot with some coefficient depend. I say just K. I put together. Okay, I put this one and the uh, friction, the friction, friction will be here. Some coefficient K. So we can have uh, equation looks like this. If you consider the ideal one, you can think K zero, K zero, right? There's no friction. Uh, then in that case, the the pendulum were were moving all the time, right? Never stop. Yeah. 
Now, that's impossible. Less or more, you will have something like this. Okay, so this is a, uh, another example of equation. This equation, yeah, we get that this equation is very easy, but the equation have a derivative here. Uh, you have a sign here. You have a sign here. This is nonlinear part. So this is a nonlinear system. Nonlinear system. Uh, to study a long linear system, yes, we have some more uh, theory, more tools, math tools about uh, non-linear systems. Uh, but here I just want to mention one, the most simple one. We, 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 for the linearization, use sine theta close to theta. Theta is small enough. That's it. Then this part turned to be a, a linear one. Turn to a linear one. All right. Yeah. Uh, if if you have some different kind of nonlinear part, nonlinear part, you can do similar thing. Uh, sine theta is say, say close to theta. If this is a cosine theta, how to do it? Oh, you, you need to check the Taylor Taylor formula. Taylor formula. How to write the uh, uh, equation into a into a you know actually like this any f of t equal to f of t of zero plus f prime of t of zero times t minus t zero uh, this is close to approximate to so here this one maybe it is not linear according to t yeah this is a function of t maybe it is not linear according to t. But here, you see, this is constant, this is constant, this is constant. Only t, only t here, this is linear, right? This is linear. So this is a linear on t, a linear on t, this part. Okay. So in general, you can always do this, always do this. All right. And, uh, okay, okay, here the equation, we already have the equation ways like, uh, uh, oh, we have seed. So, what is the input? Oh, I don't have input here. I don't have input here. I can consider. I give the input just on seed. No, I can. Uh, not seed. What what kind of things I can use use as input? I can consider seed is the input you know is the value of seat for example you pull it put it here put it is like a 30 degree you put it in a 30 degree you can that use that as a input right you can use seat as input just a seat as input and output you want like uh, you use a seat dot as input uh, output so you seat as input and uh, you consider the theta dot as output. Uh, you, you, maybe you can you think like this. You see it as input. You, you see it. Uh, oh, not see the input. You can give some force on it. If I give an initial force, yeah, things like that. Okay, and this one, then we can, uh, or maybe you can consider this one as a system like uh, no, no input. Hmm. No input, not good. We need some input. Okay. We need some input. We need some input force, maybe. Yeah, we can give some like like a force here. Use a F with some f as inf as a force so this is f maybe it's also a t f of t uh no give for simple i just give the suppose the f is always in this way it's a 90 degree with this suppose the force is always like this 
always like this if here false will be here if here the false will be here, right the fourth this is the f this is the f f is al always also gonna weigh the bar we give a f now we give a f so here you need a plus f so okay, uh, now it's clear. F is the input. The force is the input, and the theta is the output. Okay, this, let me this makes sense. All right, yeah. Okay, so the system can look like this. It looks like this. Then you can move all the theta term in one side, and the F in the other side. Uh, but it is non-linear. If you want to linearize it, you can write it, replace theta, sine theta by just theta. Then you have a linear one. You have a linear one. But that linear one only give you an approximate. Give you an approximate. Approximate of the system. And then we try to write it in a, a matrix form. In matrix form. And here, we already have the equation but the derivative is the highest derivative is a second order, right? So then, in this case, we want uh, right in the matrix form. We only need uh, one derivative, so we can work like this. Yeah, first, first one, let me write final form, final form equation, final form equation. It is a M L C two prime plus K L C one prime and uh, plus G M sine C equal to F T. Okay. And uh, if we do linear linearization. We have M L theta two prime plus K L theta one prime plus G M sine theta equal to F T. It's a linear equation. And the matrix form. Matrix form. For matrix form. We let x1 is just a set and x2 is set prime, set derivative, set derivative. So this two derivative of set we can write as one derivative on x2, right? Okay, then we have this. x1 derivative is set set derivative and set derivative is just x2 and x2 derivative is set with 2 derivative okay then we can use the equation this is uh, uh, set 2 derivative equal to all the rest part divide by ml right divide by ml so 1 over ml all the rest part is negative k l set da minus g m sine set plus plus f right plus f and uh, write again so theta da is x2 and sine theta is x1 now put the x1 in front so this is a negative g m over m l so m can be cancelled right so it's a negative g over l sine theta and minus L cancels so K over M. Theta prime is X2. Now this is X1. I use X. This is X1. And plus F over ML. So we have this one. We have this one. Okay. This is also a non matrix form. We cannot have matrix because you have a nonlinear part. So this is a just stay. Equation. Now it's a nonlinear system.
Now I'm linear system. Now I'm linear system. Uh, something similar with a linear case. This side we have x1 prime, x2 prime, right? The, the right, uh, the left side. And the right side, uh, we only have x1, x2, and input. We know we do not have derivative in this side. We do not have derivative in this side. So in this way, in this in this side, uh, in this point, the state equation is the same with the linear case. However, we have something nonlinear x, right? We have sine of x1. This is nonlinear. And the linearized, similar. Then we have uh, x1 prime, x2 prime, or equal to, this is just x1. And I can write in matrix way, this is 0, no x1, only x2. So this is 1, only x2 is coefficient 1. And second, we have negative g over l. Uh, this is x1. And uh, negative k over m is x1, x2. And plus, first one, no f. Second one, coefficient before f. Coefficient before f is 1 over m l. And uh, then f. All right? Yeah, they see the, uh, the same in matrix way. And then what is the output? We say the theta is output. Theta is output. So y of t were equal to theta, and the theta now is x1. x1. So I write in this way. So we can have this one. This is uh, in the form ax plus bu and cx plus du, but d is 0 d0. Alright, so this is the second example. Second example. This is a nonlinear case and uh, then we can have a linearization of the system. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, I, I will say goodbye and uh, see you next time. Yeah, see you next time every uh, Wednesday. Alright, bye bye.